Good afternoon, Radek. So the first question that um, I would like you to ask is how you organizing the opportunities for the companies, for the airlines, uh, if we are talking about the low costers. Mm -hmm. What is the specific you have and what is the problems you have if you are talking with the low costers? Okay. Well, um, as you know, we are an airport in Slovakia. We are the, the capital city airport in Slovakia, the biggest airport in Slovakia. However, our, our airport is by all standards uh, a small regional airport. Uh, by historical reasons, uh, we are working mostly with low-cost airlines because we don't have any airline, local airline in Slovakia. And uh, we try to attract uh, our airline customers to come to Bratislava, especially because we are sort of very simple airport as far as operations, both for the airline customers and the passengers. Uh, the airport is very easy inside, so the orientation is very simple. And of course, cost-wise, uh, we are still uh, very attractive uh, for the airlines to come to our airport and to benefit from uh, from having lower cost base when operating to Bratislava. And how do you imagine to develop the airport if we're talking that you are near and the neighborhood with Vienna Airport, mm -hmm. which is hub, and it's a bit hard to live near and to have a passenger traffic? Uh, well, you are absolutely right. Uh, Vienna is very strong competition. It's a huge airport. It's the biggest airport within Central Europe. So we are trying to focus on niche market, we are trying to focus on, on serving mainly Slovak market, Czech market and part of Hungarian market because we know that uh, Austrian market is uh, really uh, focusing on uh, Vienna. And um, yeah, this is, uh, this is what we have to do, we have to focus on niche market and, and offer uh, a good connection to come and leave from Slovakia. And if we are focusing on the niche markets, are you interested in general in the ex-Yugoslavian countries? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't say so. I, we are looking for niche market from any destinations, be it Europe. Uh, we have also some connections to Russia, to Moscow. We have connections to Middle East. So we are trying to attract niche market from uh, niche markets from these countries as well. Mm -hmm. And are you waiting the opportunities to work with the traditional airlines? Not only the low costers. Mm -hmm. Well, we would love uh, we would love to, to have some uh, traditional airlines indeed because it would open uh, the opportunity for uh, Slovak customers uh, to depart from home uh, home airport and basically to reach any place uh, in the world, which is currently hardly possible. Uh, of course, it's a little bit difficult because most of traditional airlines are today flying to Vienna and uh, they are sort of afraid of uh, operating both Vienna and Bratislava because they are feared of uh, losing market in Vienna. However, from our experience we found out that it must not be the case because, for example, the uh, Fly Dubai operations which we have uh, shows that uh, such uh, Flights could be operated despite there are double daily flights from uh, from United Emirates to Vienna, and our route to Dubai is successful as well. So it's uh, just uh, we have to convince our airline partners, traditional airline partners, that uh, the market is not a single market, Bratislava, Vienna, but uh, Slovak market is slightly different. And it would be definitely beneficial for them to come to Bratislava and operate flights to Bratislava. And if we're talking a bit more um, neighboring for Russia, mm -hmm. so what is the significance of market for Russia for you for the airport of Bratislava is the first question. And the other one is, uh, is it possible to see in the nearest future that uh, the number of flights to Bratislava airport of Pobieda will grow? And well, uh, we have very good cooperation with Pabieda. Uh, Pabieda is increasing the uh, number of flights to Bratislava. So we will have a uh, daily flight now. We are starting uh, since uh, winter season. And uh, we would love to uh, get more flights uh, from Russia, especially from uh, major destinations like St. Petersburg, for example, or Yekaterinburg, because uh, still Slovakia is, is a good destination for Russian customers 
Uh, Slovakia is known for spas, for example, and we get a lot of customers from Russia coming to, so, to spas in Slovakia. And on top of that, uh, this new initiative on the on Russian side, uh, this uh, new visa policy, which is coming in place, especially for St. Petersburg now, we hope that it will attract also Slovak customers to visit Russia. So I do believe that uh, there is a huge potential and I plan to discuss uh, with uh, Russian airlines here during the event to see what would be the opportunity and how we could uh, attract more uh, flights from Russian destinations, not only from Moscow. Hope it will work and so. uh, yeah. Also, the question about uh, how to manage, uh, how you manage to develop uh, the good establish of uh, the different uh, competitors uh, of low costers because you have Orion Air, you also have Pobeda, and they have a different model. And sometimes you have a, uh, not only Orion Air, but I suppose Visa Air too. So they're a big competition to have a relationship between the companies or for you not? Well, as far as uh, relations uh, with our uh, airline customers, uh, we try and we are more or less, uh, we, we have the same approach. So uh, the conditions are uh, more or less same with them. Uh, we indeed uh, cannot really separate, uh, separate our approach with them so uh, so from this perspective we treat them equally that's important because it's also a requirement by EU laws to treat airlines uh, equally so we don't uh, really have any problems with this if they decide to compete between themselves on the same route I mean uh, that's uh, their uh, their activity but uh, it shows this also shows that uh, uh, even for same destinations, they can attract passengers uh, and they can fill the aircraft. If uh, we talk, if we are talking, for example, Ryanair and Vizair, we have uh, flights by Ryanair to Stansted and by Vizair to Luton, and both uh, both routes are operating very well. So it shows that uh, the demand is on the market. And we are just hoping that we will get more, uh, more uh, such routes uh, in the future as well. Where is the most demand on the market? You see, or you, you said about, uh, you already said about the Slovak market. Mm -hmm. Do you feel the really strong demand here, or something will change? Well, I think uh, I think the Slovak market, in uh, terms of aviation, is still underdeveloped. So I think there is a still a, quite a huge potential to, for growth. Uh, if there is an attractive route, uh, the customers are there. And um, yeah, I do believe that, uh, that uh, it's a question of, uh, of just uh, opening attractive route and providing attractive uh, fares on the market and, and the market will come and, and it will, it will uh, work. And what uh, the Bratislava airport can teach Russian airports who would like to work with the low costers because now on the Russian market they're becoming more low costers mm -hmm. and also with uh, Pulkova airports who will have uh, this opportunity. So what is uh, your advice to our airport maybe? Well, it's, uh, the advice might be quite difficult because I don't know whether there are airports in such situation like we are with uh, Vienna. Uh, but uh, in any case, uh, I think it's very important to be attractive for the low costers, to understand that indeed low costers are looking for low cost also at the airport. But uh, the airports must understand that uh, there are some limits. I mean, uh, airport business is very expensive joke. It's long term joke uh, because uh, we cannot simply move our operations like an airline. We are there for many, many years and we have our costs which have to be covered. And uh, that's maybe something which has to be discussed not only on airport level, but I think on the regulatory level, because um, I don't think it's, it's really beneficial for both airports and airlines to struggle on costs and then not to be able to cover these costs. So I will, my advice would be to be fair with airlines, to offer them 
good charges, good rates, so they can then reflect these good rates to the tickets and to the low cost tickets. But to keep in mind that the airport must keep also their costs in line with their income. So not to lose money. Yeah, I understand you. Thank you for the answers. And also I have a bit questions about the events. How do you find it? And what are the most important information for you? Well, uh, I am here just for a couple of hours now. So uh, I have very fresh, uh, fresh opinion. The events is, uh, it looks very nice very interesting uh, all the presentations for the time being were really interesting for me so I'm really looking forward for the rest and, and uh, yeah it's, it's a great so event. Which speakers do you want to see uh, next time or maybe do you have uh, your own opinion about who is more important to see to talk and to have a meeting? Well I, in general I am interested in uh, all those speakers who are dealing with airports, but uh, for me also the speakers from airline side are quite important because uh, of uh, better understanding what are the needs, what, uh, what is the perspective of the future for the airlines, how they are going to tackle all the different issues which are coming into the um, aviation industry. Yeah, I understand. And moreover, it's important to know for our organization, organizers uh, what's uh, what can be uh, improved or maybe you saw something that can be changed for you like with the well, organization? I am, I am afraid I am at this moment I am still not in a position to respond to this because I am here for three hours so it's uh, a little bit too early for me to judge and to, to give some kind of uh, advice so uh, maybe you should ask me later but uh, I am not in a position to, to, to respond this simply. already found, uh, found uh, the opportunity to uh, to communicate with the, all the speakers you yes, want and yes, it's yes. normal. And uh, it uh, looks to me that uh, if I have an opportunity to come back maybe next year so I would be glad to come again. Hope so. Thank, Thank you. you.